sorry about it. Yes, people, welcome back to another video. John Sinclair TV back again. Good evening to you guys. Tonight we're doing the NUFC phone in show. It's a bit different tonight, guys, and um, should be a good show. So I've got Roly with us again. Hi, Roly. Hi, John. I hope you're doing well. Champion, champion stuff. And um, everyone just doing our each sort of thing, you know. I've had a better day of the day. The first two days I got finished late from work. And it's just so frustrating as well. But hey ho, I'm here. Yeah, I'm, and I'm so... really excited at the moment. It's um yeah. my birthday tomorrow. <laughs> so I'm becoming out a really old git <laughs> 56. Yeah, yeah. And then wow. uh, on Friday I'm, tra I'm traveling up to, to Newcastle to Beautiful. be at the game on Saturday. Um, I really hope we spank Liverpool because I'm coming up with my, my lass yeah. and she's a Liverpool fan. So we can't lose. We've got to beat them. <laughs> <laughs> Can't lose to them lot, definitely not. Always oh, spank them as well. So, guys, if you like the video, like what you see, please hit the like button. Also, hit the subscribe button if you're new. And if you like to super chat, then click on the dollar sign and give how much time it's worth. We got to Ian Eckard as well for two super chats. So, 48 hours, we got to you. And if you like to, um, like the hit the like button. It helps these sort of settings as well. And you're gonna you can talk about anything you want tonight on the phone. You want to come and have your say. The link's on top of the chat. Click on that. You can come and have your say. We'll bring you in. You can have your say. We're gonna talk about Wembley, you can talk about the ballot. Was it fair? You're gonna talk about match tickets. Should season ticket holders get more? We give you the percentage of that later. Also, you want to talk about if you want to talk about um the players as well, the season so far, you can talk about that as well. So it's all open. So please, please help us suit have got. 11 people I hope to get watching I hope you get more so if you want to come on click on that don't be shy we'll bring you in we'll make you gentle as well let's go on to Leslie big up to Leslie thank you very much indeed I really appreciate that. and there's a link if you want to come on click on that and good evening to Tom I hope you came when we take us as come congratulations and by the way congratulations on the people that has got tickets whether you in the members whether you've not been to a match for a couple of years, congratulations. No hard feelings, people. You know, we're not here to call you out. We're not like that. And, you know, but one thing I will say, the NUST, I have asked them to come on be sure. I left them um, um, a link as well, but they decided they just don't want to come on and ask their choice. Big up to Tom. Thank you, Tom. You in Barcelona, John? Do you know what? I wish I was there for the weather. I wish I was there for the weather. <clears throat> Not <laughs> you, know, you know why he's asking you if you're in Barcelona, don't you? Yeah, I do. I do. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And give him to Julie. Julie, if you want to come and have your say, the link is there. Please come and have your say. <laughs> and it's your chance to come on and have your say. And I've got one from Ugly Hildra. Next two games is do or die. Um, that's against Liverpool home. And we um against United at Wembley and do you risk Julian the will appear so worth it? Yes, because if he gets booked, he will not be suspended. He will be suspended though against Man City and Wolves. Man City away, Wolves at home. So if Joe gets but you miss those two games. But he would definitely play at Wembley as long as he does not get sent off. Big up to Sefton, he's in the hoose. Please be careful on the temptation of buying tickets online. Keep it on her and money sip. We're gonna talk about that, by the way. We're gonna talk about that as well. 100%. So don't escape that. We assisted the temptation to do that. That's from Julie J. And also, we've got one for Lukey Luke as well, even to you. Guys, if you want to come on and have your say, 15 people watching, have your say, the link's in there. Click on that. We'll bring you in. You can have your say. We want to talk about the tickets. We want to talk about the season so far. If you want to talk about Wembley, then that is fantastic. The floor is yours. Really, you're going to talk about this, about the tickets. We will talk about that as well. And we just set it off air. You just set it off air. 97% went on season ticket hoard as the rest of us come to members. Thank you for Dawn Steedolf as well. She's really lovely. Get our followers as well. She is amazing. And and we don't believe that. What do you think of that, really? Do you believe those stats? It's plausible. Because of 97% of, let's say it's 33,000 tickets, is around about 900 tickets. Um, and from the the periods, I think the first three, first six, uh, first five periods, you had to have a season ticket. Yeah. So it, it uh, so there are going to be more uh, people with season tickets in the ballot than 
well, there'll be a, a, a large portion. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't know how many people in periods one through three who were all got tickets. I expect that's where um, the majority of the, them, them went. Um, I think it's plausible. It's plausible. I, I don't know because I don't know how they did the ballot. Uh, we probably never will know. But yeah. um, it, 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 if it was a way that they, they had so many tickets for uh, pot four ballot, pot five ballot, pot six ballot, it's it, it's plausible. Um, but the problem is that there are never going to be enough tickets for the people that wanted it. Um, how 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 you, how do you shed the back? Do you, if you do you give uh, give them all to season ticket holders, then members are going to be moaning that they didn't have a chance to to get it, get tickets. It, it, it's a difficult one. They'll learn from they'll learn from the experience of this one because we're going to be going back again and probably soon. So they'll learn from this and then maybe they'll find a better way of doing it. Um, I, I think part of it was, this is my guess, is yeah. that they wanted to prioritise season ticket holders, but they also wanted members to have a chance as well. So maybe they kept a few, uh, around about a thousand back for members so that they could get a chance to go as well as the season ticket holders. But I, I, I don't know because I don't know how they how they did the ballot. They could have put everybody in the ballot together and just drawn. I, I really don't know how they did it, so it's hard to hard to to say. But it's plausible. But um, we'll never know. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely, man. It's just, I mean, it's plausible, yeah, but like I said, I'm not going to kick off here and say, oh, you shouldn't do this, you shouldn't do that sort of thing. Like, I mean, the fans want to debate that. That is cool. One thing I will say, right, but I think season ticket hoarders now is going to be, um, how do I pull it, um, going to buy season tickets, after season tickets, after season tickets, right? They're going to make it so impossible for members to go in and buy the tickets as well. And like I said, it'll happen very, very soon. And then, and yeah. yes, yes, T Trust will probably finger that as well, sort of thing. So, yeah. What, what they'll do is that they'll, what they will do, especially when we increase capacity, is that they will limit the number of season tickets that we have. So, because um, when they took over, they released another thousand um, season tickets. Yeah. It's, they probably, I, would, I wouldn't be surprised if they didn't increase the number of season tickets until the the uh, the stadium's been expanded mm. uh, for games outside of cup finals. That means that mm. members get a chance to get tickets. It's only when it comes to the cup final because you get a limited amount of tickets. Mm -hmm. um, well, we got was it thirty two and a half, nearly thirty three thousand for this mm. um, this cup final. Now, when we get to an FA Cup final. We get even less tickets. It's around twenty-two thousand that you get for an FA Cup final. So um, it's going to be even harder for them to do it, to do uh, the, the tickets, uh, and they'll probably do it um, based on FA Cup games attended and season tickets. Um, because you, 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 I mean, we've got. I don't know how many season ticket holders we've got, but it's in the region of 32,000. Mm. Uh, FA Cup final, we get 22,000. Uh, if, if you just gave it to season ticket holders, you've got 10,000 that are going to miss out straight away. Um, it, it's a difficult one for the club. Um, could they have done it better? Maybe. But it's not the way they've done it isn't the worst way they could have done it. Um, but they're never going to have a system that's going to please everybody. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. But, you know, they can't please everyone as well, man. They just can't please anyone at all. And that's a shame, really, because, um, you know, it's, too, it's, um, it's supply and demand as well. And everyone's yeah. got season tickets, so they will expand it. I think they're going to expand the stadium very soon. Guys, if you want to come on, have you say, just click on the link, please, and um, have you say, and um, we'll bring you in. And... Um, you know, it's that simple. The link's in there as well. And um, I've done a few links as well. So just click on that. Thank you. And um, you're absolutely right. I mean, 
I see, I see people kick it off. They're going to demand for a bigger stadium. You know what it is, really? It's going to be a bigger stadium soon, let's be honest with you. Yeah. They're, going to have to they're going to have to. Well, they knew that when they took over. Yeah. Uh, when there was a demand for season tickets. Uh, the problem has been how do you expand the ground? Obviously, the the I forget what the, the stand that's opposite the Milburn stand is very difficult to develop that because of the listed buildings behind it. Mm. Right, they bought Strawberry Place now, so that means there's a possibility of doing something with the Gallagher end. Yeah, so yeah. they actually own the land, so that's probably what they'll do. I think they can get another sort of like ten thousand seats in there. Basically, lifting it up to the same level as um, as the Melbourne stand, but it's going to be very difficult to do much else. And, um, and to be honest, I don't think that they that they would look to go for much more than sixty thousand anyway. Um, and be able to fill that. It's just uh, that's what tends to be the the sort of redevelopment size of all the all the big clubs like us is around sixty thousand. But it's something they've been looking into and, and trying to find the best way to do it. Uh, I'm sure they'll do it soon, but uh, but it's it's the sort of thing that doesn't happen overnight. Now they've bought the land, they need to do all, all things like um, what do you call it um, planning permission. And obviously, obviously, now they've got the land, they probably I would expect they'd have um, architects have already sorted out how they can do it which is why they bought the land but it, it takes time so it's probably going to be if the, it's unlikely to be um anything that happened before the end of next season because it's just the amount of time that it takes to actually get all the planning permissions and all yep. everything signed off mm-hmm. and then you're looking at maybe it's the season after that before the capacity is actually raised yeah, absolutely. It could take a couple of years for it to um, build as well. I mean, yeah. the facility. And um, yeah, just, um, you know what it is, right? I mean, you've got to wait and see, but it will be the expanded stadium. Definitely, definitely. Go yeah. for the comments, by the way, really, as quick as I can. Even to you, Alan, or PUK, I'm afraid I didn't be it, but um, I did win for it. But um, it is what it is. I don't get a ticket. There you go. So um, just, um, I'm not going to kick off. It is what it is. And um, got Rick. I've just gone riches as well. Yeah, I know, but um, I'm trying to get people on me and um, just have been no, thank you, Bella. We want to know that. Thank you, man. Um, do hit that like as well. Thank you. And um, there's one or two comments as well. Just um, we've got a super chat in, John. Say again, mate. We've got a super chat in. I have indeed. Thank you very much indeed. It looks like I've got my first one. Just be watching Alan Pearson getting Anthony Gordon's autograph for the training ground. You know what? Do follow Alan Pearson as well. That guy is absolutely amazing. Great guy. And I've met him loads and loads of times. And um, it looks like the sales are on its way in the summer. And I'm um, just going to go on to um, Ian. Ian, thank you so much for your super chat, my guy. I really appreciate that. Thank you very much indeed. And um, you know what it is, Ian, right? I mean, I can't thank you enough, my guy. And um, you know, you're an absolute asset to the channel as well. Thank you very much indeed. I appreciate that, Ian. Thank you. First, we're going to go on to Lewis as well. Big up to Lewis. Hi to Lewis. How are you, mate? I'm Hi, fine. Lewis. How are you? Hi, thank you. I'm fine, yeah. my guy. And um, yeah, I mean, look, I mean, we're just talking about um, tickets as well, like um, season tickets, ballots as well. First off, congratulations getting yourself a ticket, mate. Yeah, and, thank you. Um, and what do you think now should happen next time, like next season? Do you think they got to change it up, or do you think season tickets should get first choice and Mem's going to find it difficult to um, sort like, out? I think season tickets should still get first dibs because we pay. So I know some people pay like over a thousand pounds for their season ticket. Like we pay, we pay for our season tickets, unless because they could do it. They say if the Wembley if we get to the FA Cup final. One next year, why not say like if you're a season ticket holder for next season, say right if you pay a bit extra, you get yeah. the cup tickets included in your ticket. Because I know some clubs, I know some clubs actually do that. The problem with that is you don't know how many rounds you're going to be in the cup for. Yeah, but this year before, before the cup picked off, would you have expected us to get to the final? Probably no, not. no. But you well, know, it, 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 it's it, all good because. 
Yeah, go on. So, are you asking people to gamble that will go a long way in the cup and pay extra? If you have see, let's see, for example, you pay an extra thirty quid, for example, mm. what what guarantees you every single cup game, including the Carabao Cup? I'm almost like the same, like you, you're guaranteed a, 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 to get a ticket. <clears throat> like saying, yeah, it, it, but that could be two games. Yeah. Like, I'm paying like if you okay. go the whole way, yeah, yeah, yeah it, it's it's a, I, I know I understand the idea, but it it's because you can't guarantee how many games you're going to be in for mm-hmm. asking people to pay extra up front for something they don't know they're going to get. It's a bit. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think that would get a lot of complaints if we went out in the first in the second yeah. round. Yeah. 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 yeah, but that's where I'm sitting for Wembley. Excellent, excellent, yeah. man. Excellent. Obviously, like it's you can't like obviously like the, I think the trip is, the tickets are quite reasonable price for a final. That's good. Mm-hmm. Like I was, we were expecting to pay a lot more for see for the tickets, but we didn't uh, pay that much for them. I, I went to Wembley. Um, when was it? October for mm-hmm. what's the American football? Yeah, and had seats near the bottom and behind the the goal. goal. Yeah, um, <laughs> um, that was about ninety five quid, which I thought was quite reasonable. Mm-hmm. It's a national stadium, so yeah. I don't know how the cup final tickets compare. Uh, but. Like, dude, where I'm saying, obviously, because I got my tickets a bit cheaper, but I'm not saying how much I paid for it, obviously, because that's like, and um, but like, obviously. For me, it was like 36 quid for his ticket. Mm-hmm. Then obviously, mine was 70, mine was 75. That's oh. And That's obviously, beautiful. and my dad got his for free. Because obviously, it's my carer season. Obviously, because my season is the same one, we get a carer's one free. Yeah. But That's like, cool. but technically, we only paid £1.70 for my dad's ticket because that's for Porsche, for like, the postage. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, no, that's understandable because let's say if you need a carer to go with you, mm-hmm. you need a carer to go with you. Yeah. So when you buy your season ticket, it's got to be to with your carer as well. So yeah. I've got a friend that's got um West the mate man used um West Ham season ticket all the mm-hmm. uh classed as disabled so he gets he got two tickets, season tickets. Yeah, but yeah. the one thing, the one thing really annoys me of me season ticket with Newcastle is this adult ambient. Now, that's what that means. It means disabled but able to walk. Why yeah. not? Why, why? Why not just say disabled? <laughs> Make it easier, wouldn't it? Yeah. Moving on to the yeah, way, yeah moving on. But like, you, you can't complain. It's just like crazy, like the say. This time last year, we were fighting relegation, and now we're in the final for Carabao Cup. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's been, it's been a, a dream uh, since um, since the, uh, the takeover. It took a little bit of time to get going, but it, it's it's been unstoppable at the moment. So, yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm just so happy that we've not just got to a cup final, Mm-hmm. We've got to a cup final with a team that's capable of winning it. Yeah, but like I think, I don't know, because of how we've been playing in the league, I think uh, some of our players are concentrating on the final. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I, I'd like to think they're more professional than that, but, it, it, yeah. but it's, mm. in the last few games, I mean, people have been pretty much trying to park the bus against us. Mm-hmm. Uh, they didn't play well in, against uh, Bournemouth or West Ham, but you look at the Leeds game; they just parked the bus. Um, mm-hmm. well, obviously, um, obviously, we beat Fulham, but it, it's it's difficult because uh, mm-hmm. though they had the break, when they got back, the games were coming thick and fast. So there's not a lot of time to to do sort of like the training in between games. Yeah. So yeah, it, it's. I don't. I don't think it's like they're like, uh, concentrating on the cup final. I just think that some of them just look a little leggy because yeah. we hardly changed the team. Um, but hopefully, we'll we'll put start to turn the corner against Liverpool. 
yeah. I mean, uh, I mean, uh, Sky Sports News sort of really annoyed me when they start saying, "Oh, Liverpool are back. The, if, if they win on Saturday, they'll be six points behind Newcastle, making it sound like it was a foregone conclusion." Yeah, uh, absolutely. I, I watched the game, and Everton were atrocious. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And Liverpool should have beaten them by more than two. My, my, my other halves are red. Um, so we've got to win because we're going to the game. So, so we can't have a leaving the stadium happy. <laughs> but, um, I think just after half time, the messenger said, look, looks like Liverpool are going to give Everton a thumping because Everton were that poor. And they didn't. I tell you I mean, what, though, guys, the first goal absolutely killed off Everton. I mean, what was Pickford yeah. doing? I don't know, right? Second goal, what was Cody doing? Yeah. I don't know. But at the end but of the there's day, no marking on either of the goals. Hmm. And uh, I know Liverpool break well, but um, it, it, it was, I mean, they only just scra- they scrambled the, the ball away for the breakaway. Liverpool aren't that good. Uh, they're not playing well at the moment. They went to Wolves and got absolutely hammered. And just... Wolves aren't that great. Not really. No. But if we're on my me- on our metal, which I hope we are, because players are playing for the cup final places. Yeah. Uh, um, the only uh, the, the I mean the back five is pretty sorted unless there's injuries. But yeah, but the place yeah. is up for grab. Yeah. So in the front three in the in midfield because it's looking like Joe Willett might not make the cup final. We know no. Bruno is coming up coming back. So there's, there's some competition for cup final places. So if we're on a metal, we can beat these lot quite handily. Yeah, absolutely. I don't think the comments if we get any in as well. Um, Donald said, anyway, talking sense this time, bless him. I was offered the ticket of the day at work, turn it down because I reckon I'm a jinx where, where it was concerned. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Julie, um, bless him. And um, even to win, hope you're okay, mate. And, um, yeah, I've got your super chat, Ian, just going there. There's confirmation, the super chat. Thank you, and I really appreciate it again, my guy. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. You are top, top, fella. You really, really are. Thank you. And hi to um, Leslie as well. Fans on to start with Strawberry Players. I was reading some. Yes, they've been talking about that. And I can see it's going to be like um, a fan on very, very soon. Um, if it gets built up as well. I've been to two games all season, got a ticket for the final plus and run and Richie. Well done to you. Yeah. Not bad. Not so for Wednesday evening. Hope you're okay, Julie. Yeah, you're all fine here. And thank you again, Ian. And um, congrats as well. Drew will say, my biggest worry in the next two matches is Burn. Love to Gary. It's too slow going back, in my opinion. Big up to Gary D. I hope you're okay, mate. Um, share the love to Gary. And um, go for it. Ever say hi to everybody else. Just fantastic. Evening to Lewis. Not all the same for everybody, price wise. Let's go on to and oh, Annie is Annie still there? Did I drop Annie? Annie, how are we doing, mate? Are you okay? Yeah, not bad, not bad. Long time no see, man. What's been going on, mate? Yeah, just just got back home uh, after a trip to Barcelona. So yeah, that's always nice. Nice, excellent, excellent stuff. Um, we're talking about um this um. um Newcastle, obviously, is in Newark because um, Newcastle, um, this is a fan coming to our Newcastle channel, and he's always welcome to get different fans coming on as well, just so amazing. Um, ticket situation, I mean, I don't know if you heard it, sort of thing. Do you think Newcastle's got enough tickets for 33,000, or should you be getting more? Obviously, you've got an incredibly huge fan base. Um, uh, obviously, it's, it's, it's not, you can't really change the rules for too many clubs you can't just go oh um uh you uh you know like uh you know, league one a player final you give us x amount of tickets to both clubs can we really just change that because it's probably the two biggest fan bases in the country um it, it's tough because ultimately there are going to be fans who, who miss out um and that's always it's always a shame because you know you don't want to see fans, you know, on an incredible moment. And for Newcastle, especially first <laughs> final in 50, 50 plus years. Um, so look, it's 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 not ideal, um, and I think people should have expected it when you know really first start thinking about tickets and all that. Um, 
neither of them's going to get a ticket because ultimately it has to be equal to United as well, as we're in Man United um, <laughs> as well. So, look, um, has to, it's 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 unfair, but people, it's 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 always going to happen. Um, for for me, for example, um, I don't have a scene to get at Bristol City for yeah. some reasons. Um, I just about managed to get a ticket purely because I went to up into uh, five games this season. Um, so if I didn't go to those five games, I wouldn't have got a ticket. It's like you know, it's 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 tough on some people. Some people who haven't been to any games this season have got tickets. Further ahead of me are in higher priority because of Manchester because of the Man City tickets. Uh, it's 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 tough, um, but mm. it's, it's, it is what it is. When you when you've got such a huge fan base as such as Newcastle, it's always it's always going to happen. Yeah, the, the, I think um, the end of the day, sort of thing. Like I mean, ninety seven percent of season ticket holders got the tickets, and the rest has gone through members. But whether to believe that, I'm not sure. But um, just um, um, just imagine what City Centre and St James will be like when we bring back the cup back. Alan Ebby, he made. Big up to Paul, by the way. Paul St. Louis. All right, Paul. All right, Paul. All right, Paul. Uh, Paul. Uh, Paul, have you got a seat? Have you got your um, match ticket for Wembley, mate? If you have, big up to you, mate. I think he has as well. Could be wrong, but I hope he does because he flipping deserves it. He deserves six. Yeah, he's yeah, he's, he's going done. with his. Uh, Going with his daughter, so yeah. Going with so, his yeah, daughter. Like, Thanks. Like, you know, on this, like, for some reason, on Paul's channel, I'm banned from going on to the live. It won't let me go on. I mean, I'll kick the link for some stupid reason, but it works on everybody else who's apart from Paul's. I know, uh, not good, man. I hope, I hope, I hope he gets you back on. Paul's a great guy, and I know. Um, <laughs> I've yeah. got to make sure I go on this fans forum as well because I'll be getting to bed early, like you know, nowadays because of work. I am indeed, so we have to be careful with Newcastle. And that's Richie's a big United fan, bless him. And um, do you think we should do something for Atsu at the match or find any force? You know what it is, Steve? I think we should because at the end of the day, we don't know where he is, really. We still don't know if he's alive, we don't know, but I hope they do. I hope they get him alive. Do you know what? I love Christian Atsu, don't get us wrong, you know. Uh, I, Go on, really. Unfortunately, I mean, our biggest hope on Christian Atsu is that in the chaos of all the people being rescued, he's in the hospital somewhere and they just haven't got... They, uh, they haven't got right into notifying it. Maybe he's got amnesia or something like that. I think that's our best hope. Because if he's under that building, there's mm. very little chance he's coming out alive. Yeah, because, like they say, the first thing he did... Yeah, the first 48 hours is critical. Yeah. yeah. After that, it's getting less and less and less. It's been, I think it's been like 10 days now, hasn't it, since it happened? Yeah. The last I heard of people getting dragged, uh, uh, found alive was two days ago. It's the yeah. dehydration, because you can't, it, it's, you, you can only really, realistically go a few days without water. Mm -hmm. you're, getting, mm. you're getting close to two weeks. So if it's under the rubble, unfortunately, um, I think we've lost him. Yeah, but I say I wouldn't be surprised if we're saying there's only one Christian Atsu in the final. Well, yeah, I hope yeah. it's the case. It's, man. it's I hope very it's sad, but they say in, in earthquakes, as uh, Lewis said, the first 48 hours is when they get the most people out alive. They keep, uh, I don't even know if they're still looking because it's the likelihood of someone being under the rubble and still alive now. Is very very slim, but obviously, if they do find people alive, it's a miracle to see. Yeah, yeah at this stage, ten mm -hmm. days out. Yeah, unless they've been trapped in a place where they, where there's a water machine and a, and a vending machine, so they can eat and drink. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah. It, it's very I unlikely. Hope it gets better, man. It's very unlikely anyone's getting out of there alive now. Unfortunately. Exactly, not good. Let's hope we get some good news in the end. So, all praise Christian at you. Can't wait to get stuck in Liverpool on Saturday. We've got to make the atmosphere as toxic as possible for them to remember the way their fans went on early in the season and feel absolutely happy. Good to see you. We've got to smash, better smash these lot. My ex wife is the Everton USA German 2009 nightmare that turned out to be. And, oh, bless you, Ian. Bless you, man. 
and um yeah with with oh, Liverpool that. I just want us to score in the in the ninety eighth minute as well. as well. Last kick of the game as well. To win the game. No, no, well, I want us to score in the ninety eighth minute, but I want us to be so like three up by then. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Got, got Billy in the house. So big as you, Billy. I hope you're okay. Billy. Andy, Billy, big little Billy. Has Andy been kicked out of the bathroom? That's from Billy. <laughs> well, no. have I been kicked? Uh, don't think so. <laughs> no comment. Oh, he's sinking. He's sinking. Let, let's just stick with no comment. Yeah. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Um, sorry, Billy, got your answer. So you missed out, you missed out, John, buddy. Thank you, Paul. You know what it is, right? I'm gonna be real, right? It is what it is, right? You know, if that's how you're gonna do it, that's how you're gonna do it, yeah. But at the end of the day, right, there's nothing I can do. Yes, I'm gutted, but at the same time, I've got to say it again, congratulations to people like Lewis and Paul going to Wembley, and others got a ticket to Wembley as well. But you know what it is. Just got in, but it is what it is. But um, there's always other years to go as well. But um, I just go for this conference as well. Fans will probably try and actually see them on Sunday. Of course, he was high, Billy. John, going to Wembley? I'm afraid not, mate. Harry, I'm you still, afraid. Are, you, are you still going to Wembley? Are you still traveling down to London without a ticket? Yeah. Um, do you think I should go on? Because there's a lot of people going down without a ticket. And, uh, just the atmosphere and everything. Yeah. So Soak it up, soak it up. Yeah, yeah. People in the chat, people in the chat, if I should go to London for the atmosphere, give us a yes or no, and then I'll tell you up after the show. Lewis said yes, Rolly said yes. Annie, do you feel I should go to London for the for the atmo? Right, ticket? Probably should. You ain't, get, you, ain't, you ain't getting much of an atmosphere in Bristol is all I'm going to say. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. Condolences, John, sickens me when non-fans like Richie has got a ticket when you and others haven't. Billy, you're absolutely right, mate. Totally, totally agree. But one thing I will say, next season, I could be wrong on this, right, that season tickets are going to buy more tickets, right? And I heard people say it's going to make members impossible to get tickets for the final. But we have to see what happens there, you know what I mean? That's, that's not my word. That's not my word, but that's obviously well on social media. We're going to talk about scamming in a bit as well. And I'll tell you what, I'm fuming, absolutely fuming. And I agree, Billy, a bloody man, you fan. <laughs> oh, yeah. Have you seen who the referee is for the final? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's just seen the thing. I've seen, I've, seen a, I've seen a tweet earlier on, right? A man, you fan, right? Bought a ticket for the Newcastle end and was absolutely fuming. Right, absolutely forming, and I hope the club sees that. Kick him out, right? Oh, I'll go through this comments first. You're going to talk about scamming, by the way, people. Honestly, this is just getting me grots up. So I don't seem to have to receive an email from the club about season ticket renewals. What should I do? Get in touch with the club, Harry. That's exactly what you got to do. Get in touch with the club. You're not banned, Lewis. The room was full. Um, you're not banned, Lewis. Don't worry, buddy. We're sorting out. We have technical troubles with stream yards. Yeah, there you yeah. go. Lewis, yeah. we, all, you know, we all love you, man. We all love you, Lewis. We really, really do. I just, I, that's why I try and come on because obviously I like come on to the fan reaction show. Like, what we do like this, yeah, because it's brilliant in that. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, I should have changed to the fan form, but it's still the same anyway. I wouldn't be able to contain my joy where we um, with fascists, that's and rich, really, Richie, really. Good luck with that. You okay, Andy? There's no chance Mr. see we've gone to Wembley anytime soon unless they book up with uh, Ed Sheeran. <laughs> wow. We've mm -hmm. actually been to Wembley more recently than you, Billy, so I wouldn't speak to <laughs> Ooh, wow. Fight and talk, yeah? Fight and talk. You in Carlos Ricky? Thank you, that's Donald. We should show respect to acts on Saturday final. Should be a bit about positive, in my opinion, Jules. Fair comment there. I won't be able to contain my excitement when we fashion Geordies and the fight. And you know what, Richie? One day we'll beat you. One day. And you know what? It could happen on a week on Sunday. And that's a man you found watching all crying around us. I don't care. I took a ticket in the Geordie end. I tell you, I suggest to be careful, Richie, because I'll tell you something. Next week, he's got a Mancunian accent as well, kid. Um, because I... sometimes I have like talking about people being in the home, like. Like the man being like some fans in the Newcastle end, it happened a couple of seasons ago when Liverpool fans bought tickets in the Newcastle end and they all kicked off. And the 
pretty much Liverpool fans got kicked out of the stadium. Wow. I was I was at Southampton, right, in November hours, and um I didn't celebrate when we scored, obviously, right? Mm-hmm. But at the end of the game, right, one of the fans, Southampton came up to us and shook his hand and said, Sir, well played, be it. You deserve it. You fully deserve it. And I said, Thank you, man. That was it. If you just I didn't celebrate when we scored, but a few Southampton fans, they were fine to us. 110%. They were cool. They're absolutely cool to us. And in the semi-finals, they were cool to us as well. What were we a man you take action against Ricky for being yes? Yeah. We were robbed at Liverpool. Let's finish the job at St. James's. Yes. Absolutely. absolutely. Star mate, comment. Star comment, mate. I mean, I, I was in the... Uh, uh, so my, my missus got those tickets and was in the with the Liverpool fans. So I, I had to... I suddenly remembered when we scored that I shouldn't, shouldn't actually cheer. At the end, when they got the winner, everyone was looking at me weird. I couldn't understand why I wasn't cheering. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> uh, um, like with the, careful, with, with the Liverpool game, Isaac's score was onside as well. Yeah, yeah, we couldn't see it very well from the end. We are because right down at the front, to, um, to the Kenny Dodds and near the Anfield Road end, and it's at the other end. Once they got over the halfway line, you couldn't see where how close like, to told you were. Yeah, the, the final <laughs> against Man U, the referee's a Man U supporter as well. Good. <laughs> That's going to kick off. That like, is really hang on, kick if, off. That's, if that's the case, then we played against Liverpool. Mike Dean was refereeing when we got beat a couple of times there. He's obviously, but he's sons of season closers for Liverpool. Yeah. Why can't the hell we have, like, Mike, no, the referee from Newcastle who lives in Ashington, referee in a Newcastle game? Hmm. Surely. Surely they could have like ref like him being in VAR and the other ref David Coote being in VAR as well, having two supporters. They're not even they support. They're not supposed to referee teams they support. Exactly, that's the problem. You guys are fans having David. Oh, I have to go now. Listen, you crack on, Lewis. Right, have yeah. your team. But take care. No problem, bro. Tickets. Take care. Okay, take care, Lewis. <laughs> Take great guy, great guy. I can listen to this all night. He talks a lot of sense. So young kid, great guy. Love the kid. I'll be angry, John. That Richie in the chat is a Man U fan. I've got a ticket for Newcastle. And I tell you what, I'm sure someone's going to, have to investigate that because is, is anybody, it, it's like me going in the Man U end, right? Has anyone reported it to the club? Well, they need to. I hope they're watching this, man. They need it. They need to because at the end of the day, right? It's so unfair, right? Getting a ticket for our end. If someone gives a ticket for the United, then I would have done it. No way. I would have done it. No way. No way. God. Something needs to happen. And I'll tell you what, right? That puts off our season ticket holders as well. It's, it's going to kick off soon, I'm telling you. All right, that's what I was saying. You're, are you going to Wembley? Regardless whether you have a ticket, get down and join them more, matey. I mean, I think you might have just twist me on, mate. You might have just give to up the tune. I hope you're okay, mate. Thank you for coming on the other day. I really appreciate that. Make sure you come back again. And the start letting people round you up. He probably hasn't got a ticket. And Richie should be reported along that sad track. It was the wrong end. Stop and proper. I suppose going to exactly how And Billy, we were there a couple of years ago, mate, where we played Spurs. Yeah, good good now. Has to brought back to extend the stadium. That's from Stephen. He won't have a mank accent going. Let's be real. <laughs> Probably, maybe wrong. Probably wouldn't. Don't know how Richie has a Newcastle ticket. Surely would have been a seat holder to get a ticket. Well, if he has, then I'm sure the fault is a sort of oot. Um, wonder how many Man United fans making a long trip to Wembley for Croyd and Cambridge and Luton. <laughs> be very interesting. Very interesting. Um, come on, people, stop being vulnerable and keep a while. Man, a chat, thanks, thanks for that. Seth and Richie's chat, too. Harry, I celebrated the wrong end too many times. Whole 10 Spurs and right at lane and the home end at Highfield Road. I tell you what, Billy, very brave. I, you got to Nick no, Neil once. You, go on. I once went to uh, Wales v Croatia, and you know my opinions on the Welsh as, a, uh, as someone from Bristol. Um, uh, I sang the I sang the Welsh end, um, mm. and when the Wales scored, I think it was like an 80th minute equaliser. Everyone went mad around me, um, and I was just there like, "Yay, great, fantastic!" 
Oh, all good. Because Gareth Bale scored as well, so it was incredible. Um, so, yeah, I've, I've sat in the wrong end a few times. Um, that was one of them. Ooh. Andy, Andy, Andy. Shh, keep it quiet. Um, <laughs> yeah, we'll big up to um, Ivy John, the boy and the lads. How's it going? Neil, absolutely fine, mate. I haven't got a ticket, mate, unfortunately, Neil, but we're going to touch on that, right? We'll touch on that before I get Billy's comments, right? There's a lot of scamming, really, right? It's been going on, right? There's a guy, right? Wanted by um, he said, um, um, I wish you, I wish you pay for a ticket on Facebook, right? And I said, well, I wish you one for it. And he goes to me, I said, I go to my website, such, such, such. And you know what he said to us? I keep, I'm going to go and think about it, right? It is a scam. I mean, you've got to be so careful. Guys in the chat, mm-hmm. right, please be careful. If you haven't got a ticket, please be careful if you offer you a ticket, right? It could be a scam. And I don't want you getting ripped off as well. So, really, take it away, man. Well, yeah, it's you've got to be very careful buying tickets online. Mm-hmm. The only safe way to buy tickets online is if you go through one of the proper um, accredited resellers but you have to buy a package if you can afford it that's the only way you can guarantee actually having a a, a valid ticket um but I, I i think that if if you haven't got a ticket by all means go down to london for the for the atmosphere but don't buy a ticket off anybody when you're there no <clears throat> I had one today, right? No word of a lie, right? I mean, all it is, he offers on two quid for a ticket, right? So I played a game. I played him along, right? And um, he goes to us that, so I'll tell you what, FaceTime us then, right? But he didn't do it, right? So I said to him, have you got something to hide then? And then he goes to us as well, right? Um, I'll tell you what, I'll give you, pay 50 quid, right? And when you get into the stadium, pays over 50 quid. And you've got to be careful of people like that, haven't you? So if you yeah. don't know them, I'll just play it again. Yeah, you've got to be careful. I've been stung myself. Yeah. Um, so it's, it's not a great feeling when you realise that you're being scammed. Um, you, you've done your money. So um, just be careful, guys. Absolutely. And also, someone's been quoted 1,300 quid because someone sent us a message from Facebook last week. 1,300 quid, right? So I'm thinking, you know what? The one thing I'm going to say, right? Greed is going to catch up with you, right? I hope that person's going to start taking for a distortion amount of money, hope to get reported. And not only that, get them banned for life. Do you agree with that, Andy? Get them banned for life? Is trying to sell tickets? I would because it's just on yeah, sale. Them... Even if they're, even if they're, I don't know whatever, whoever fans they are, don't let them go to the games. Don't just don't. Um, well don't said. Let them go to the Newcastle games or Man United yeah. games. Just don't let them go to any games because they're scamming people off. Who are football fans at the end of the day, um, no matter what who they support, it's ridiculous. You can't can't let them go to games. It's it's it beats the point of any, everything uh, football stands for. So you can't, you can't, you can't let them uh, go to games again. It would be blatant hypocrisy. Yeah, crazy man. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. And for me, if I want to, if I start a ticket, I can't go to the matches. I sell on face value. It's as simple as that. We go for the concert. We go and go on to Mason, and we were there a couple of years ago where we played Tottenham at Wembley. Yes, and big up to Brian. Mm-hmm. I would be cl- Nitchy. You, I love you, Wanda, but you're not going to beat us. Some fans celebrating the wrong end last season for the Classico, Milanaros versus Letico Nacional. Those fans ended up, ended up taking one hell of a beating. Seems much more calm in Europe than this lot. Exactly. Don't celebrate in the wrong end in the, in South America. Otherwise, you get ripped apart, I'm telling you. And um, you can't buy a ticket through the clubs on one. You can trust such your mate, don't buy a ticket, Harry. That's a star comment, mate. That's a star comment. If you don't listen, if you don't listen, you pay the price. John, um, get Billy and Paul from Tudor on your stream. Do you know what? The link's on there. They're welcome to it at any time. I've got Lewis. Big up to Paul. How are we doing, mate? Hi, Paul. Hang on a minute. Right, I'm on now. You're on now. Big up to Paul. Long time no see, man. How's things? Hey, up. How are you doing? I'm out uh, me it's and how is things good. Can he? Can he? Can he? Can he? Can he complain, John Boy? Can he complain? Nah, I'm on. I'm on good books as well. I'm still seeing the last sort of thing. I'm still with her. She's amazing. So 
I'm on well, the I know because you, 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 your season ticket seat at St James has got a shock the amount of times your ass has been on it this season. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> It's I'm used in. to being empty most of the season, apart from three or four games. I know. But I'm up on Saturday, my guy. I'm up, I'm up on Saturday. So, are you coming up, are you? I am here, Ty. I am. I'm in, the, the, uh, I'm, in the, I'm in the push box again. Nice. <laughs> uh, nice work. Nice work, mate. You deserve it, mate. You deserve it. You yeah, deserve looking, it. Really looking forward to it, actually. Exactly. And then uh, me, me and Phoebe's going to Wembley, so... We're making, oh, well the, well making the long. We're, we're, we're stopping over near where Stat all lives, and then just all jumping in a car on the on the day, heading into London. So we're gonna make a whole weekend of it. That's how I'm doing. Can't wait, man! It's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be good stuff. <laughs> wow, brilliant stuff. So, Paul, just a quick one. I mean, you very, very strongly against this, right? There's a lot of people on social media, and you might have seen it yourself. People like trying to sell tickets for like thirteen hundred quid, fourteen hundred quid, fifteen hundred quid, about sort of thing. Reach, gotta be so. Good. Thing is, John, it's not just uh, it's not just social media. Uh, you know, some of these people have YouTube channels, which we, which we all know, um, and I, I, I'll never understand it. You know, the, the, there's no. There's no reason for it, right? There's no, they're just out to make money, uh, you know, and they're, they're not doing it legitimately. They're not doing it through the proper channels. Um, and look, we all know, we all know who the scammers are. You can tell them a mile away, mm -hmm. but then some of them are, are, are blatantly obvious and, and have made, and just not hiding it. Uh, I, I, I just, I don't get it. it. It pays me off, John, because at the end of the yeah. day, I said on my show last week that um, you know some Newcastle fans who who live and breathe black and white and who spend all the money, mm. literally all the money they have on on tickets, um, and and then all of a sudden you know that they've been ripped off for about what excess of five hundred quid, um, and they don't have that kind of money, um, mm. and then you see people blatantly trying to make money and then admitting that you know they are actually admitting to it that they're trying to make a bit of extra money off what the face value price is. Okay. Now, I, I got my... I mean, the tickets... What, they were 40-odd 40, 40 quid, I think? Um, and and obviously, they went up after that. But then you go online and you see prices for sort of, what, 1500 to 3000 pounds on these second-hand websites and stuff? It's wrong, man. It's all wrong. It's all wrong. I think that's Wait, absolutely you shocking. Say did you say they were they were forty quid for a ticket to Wembley? I got for, mine for, for the season ticket. What? Yeah, forty seven something. I think mine was. I think it depends what block you're in, though, Annie. You, you know, if you, yeah, you know, if you're, you're really close to the pitch, they go. Up. A ticket to Man to Bristol City, Man City, forty eight quid for a season ticket holder. Uh, in the worst stand as well, so it goes up. Each time you go to another stand, it's ridiculous. Well, it sounds like Bristol you know, City. You're just like these ticket scammers trying to rip you off, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> we're just we're, we're quite posh down there, so that's probably why. But like, me like, ass. like if you if you seem to go and you've been going to the cup games, you buy your tickets for like twenty quid. Mm. And I think Newcastle have made an error, John. I don't know whether you you saw my shows about um, what happened to. To Michael Marsden as well, and and not just him, but quite a few others I've I've since heard about. Mm. You know where they Peter um, Michael was in pot uh, period three, yeah, uh, and went went to buy his ticket. Uh, got you know booked his seat at Wembley, then went to the payment section, and then all of a sudden, um, he put the payment through, and it it just came back error. So he tried two different cards, yeah. then he tried his mum's card, and then he even tried mine, and. It all came back saying the same thing in error, and he contacted the ticket officer who said it was the, is a problem with his bank. Well, how can it be a problem with his bank when he's tried to use numerous cards with different banks, including mine? Um, and then, so we went through on the Thursday to the ticket office on the Thursday morning, mm. and he just got dismissed out of hand saying it was his bank. And mm. they even tried to take a payment in the ticket office, and they said it's coming up in error. I'm sorry, you need to go back to your bank and. Uh, he couldn't even go in the ballot, so he missed out altogether. And he's not the only one. There's, there's quite a few. So it's been a bit of a farce, um, you know, but I, I guess 
I don't know. I don't know whether there was another way they could have done it. I don't, I'm not sure, but you know, I think some people have unfortunately. I don't agree with season ticket holders not getting the tickets. I think that's wrong. I think it's it's very very wrong. Paul, I have to agree with you, man. I mean, look, I'm trying to keep myself in my council right, on social media, right? Because I sent out a tweet um, yesterday and I got a great response. People saying, well, said this and that and all that. But I'm getting a lot of people now come up to us and say that um, next season, when you play at home, they're going to get so many season ticket holders are going to apply for as much ticket as possible. It makes it so difficult for members mm. to come through to get a ticket. How true is that? Number one, and secondly, it's going to cost mayhem again. Well, I, I, I know. I mean, look, I, some some people were suggesting last night on our show that it, you know it goes back to a mm. uh, you know a cash on turnstile thing. But if you're going to do that, then that creates more problems because you're going to have fifty, sixty thousand Newcastle fans trying to get into a thirty thousand uh, area of Wembley. It's just not going to work. You have to do tickets, but I don't know whether there's a better way. Um, I'm not sure, man, when I said my price of ticket that that was um, because I'm classed as disabled. I'm not sure whether that's a... Because I know a lot... There's a few people paid a lot more than me by the looks of things, but I, I, don't, I don't know. Um, yeah, I think that's... I, think I, probably paid a bit, I probably paid the same price as you, Paul, because you might yeah. think it's disabled as well. Like, Yeah, I think I, I'm registered on the way at Newcastle as obviously having a disability so I think that might be uh, might be why but either way I, I, I just think it, you know the club have to look at it uh, I think they have to you know for future events because let's, let's be honest it's not going to be the, the only time that this happens to us I think yeah. something's got to happen whereas they look at it again um, and the liaise with the fans I don't think they should liaise with just the Newcastle Trust um, I think they've got it badly wrong there um, oh. They should so get a massive goal. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, they'll, they'll learn. They'll learn from they'll this. Learn. I mean, but well, you're right, Rolly. It, it is. It's a learning process, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, and um, whichever way they did it, some people weren't going to be happy, and it'll be even worse if we get to the FA Cup final because you get even less tickets. Yeah, because I yeah. think it's about yeah, twenty thousand you get for the FA Cup, where it's yeah. thirty-two for the Carabao Cup. So at least they get a chance to learn when they've got a decent amount of tickets for when they've, uh, they've um, not got so many. And I agree with you, it should have been through the, the season tickets. Uh, oh, they should have got, should have been able to, or the vintage should have been able to get, and then what's left over goes to the members. Well, yeah, I mean, before the tickets went on sale, we were all saying, no, you know, uh, when, we, when we sort of gathered the allocation of around 33,000, we thought, well, that's around, I think it's around 32,000 season ticket holders or whatever it is. Yeah. And we all instantly thought, oh, all every season ticket holder will obviously get a ticket now. Whoever, you know, obviously if they can go, they'll get a ticket because they're a season ticket holder, but it hasn't worked out like that. Yeah. So I think I think it's a it's a little bit of a problem. Yeah, it's, it's a mistake they made, but they'll learn from it. Yeah. Uh, um, and at, at the end of the day, with the new ownership, and the way the club's the club's current trajectory, it's all a learning process. Because uh, at the beginning of the season, I never thought we'd be where we are now. Um, so um, obviously, they knew there's going to be more demand uh, for tickets when they um, released the extra thousand season tickets. Um, they had sort of twenty thousand people trying to get them. Um, it, it's. I think it's going to be. The, the season ticket numbers will probably stay the same until we can expand the stadium. That's my well, guess. It, yeah, I was going to say, if they expand the stadium, you're going to have possibly forty five, fifty thousand 50,000 season tickets. It's going to be even worse. It's yeah, going to be worse. Yeah. Yeah, um, so there's, there's no easy way of dividing 22,000, let's say we get to the FA Cup final next season, 22,000 um, tickets between 32,000 season ticket holders. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. uh, I think part, part of the problem is the number of tickets you get uh, for the Cup final. Um, yeah. it, it, it's, you should, I know they have to have their corporate for the funding of Wembley because they can charge extortionate prices for it. Yeah. But uh, I think, particularly the FA Cup final, they need to give the fans of the clubs more tickets and um, it wouldn't hurt them to give 35,000 each to us and man, uh, man united for this final it's only a couple thousand more but that would make all the difference yeah 
Yeah. Uh, uh, um, but the FA Cup, the number of tickets you get is just, it's disgraceful. It but, is. Um, Anyway, John, I'll have to shoot. It was just a fly and visit, mate. Um, no problem, mate. You're always welcome, my guy. And um, we missed you as well. And I'm um, coming to see you on Saturday. And um, yeah. all right, buddy. Are you going to be at well, the back of uh, Gallagher on Saturday, Paul? I'm going to try and get there for a bit before I go up for the uh, posh meal and stuff, you know, Rolly. I, yeah, I don't right. like the, you know. That. So I'm up for the game. I'm up for the game. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll have a. Even if I go in there first, I'll come back out and have a walk around um, yeah. an hour and a half before kickoff or so. So, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll catch up with you on Saturday, definitely. Yeah, that'd be good to see you again. All right, man. Okay. Safe cool. trip. All right, safe Cheers, trip cool. up, John. Thanks very much, my guy. You watch what he's doing. Soon. All right, man. Take care. You too. Bye bye. So, ah, so, ah, so, ah. Um, that's <laughs> cool. Two review there. Um, Came on, came in the house as well. Let's go to the comments as well. Um, you're going to Wembley. I'm not Ashington. I'm not me. I'm afraid. I'm so sorry, but you know it is what it is, man. But um, there's always um, next times. And um, hi, Rox says hi to Mason. Hi, Steve. Oh, hey, boys, just finished eating out the missus. Richie, look after your lasses well. And um, you know, I hope you're okay, Richie. If you do you like the channel, you know, like it. <laughs> you really wanted to know that. But it's like a Facebook message, isn't it, man? Um, no, it's about Liverpool, but I reckon we can nick it without with Bruno, but it will be tough. That's from Brian. And add a dedicated page or group's website regarding scams. Hate war fan base, getting scam, or any other fan base. Yes, check out Sefton's um, webpage as well. Mags. Sefton, go on, Northwest go on. Mags. Northwest Mags. Northwest yeah. Mags. Uh, Northwest Mags. Uh, Northwest Mags. Yeah. UK. Great site. Beautiful. Beautiful. Mason, are you going to Wembley? Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> wow. Wow, wow, wow. Well, I'd love to go to Wembley, but I cannot, unfortunately. So I'm gutted. But like I said, sorry, sorry, sorry to rub in your face. What's that, mate? Sorry, I'll keep rubbing in your face. I'm sorry. No, no, sorry. <laughs> Absolutely fine, man. That's absolutely fine. Got to go. Take care. Have a great night. Thanks, Charles, for joining us, mate. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much, indeed. Richard, no, he's not. But great show. Thanks, Charles. Come back again tomorrow. I've got a preview show tomorrow. And I've got um, United Emery as well. Hi, John. Hi to you. Good evening to you. Take care, Charlesy. And Paul looks different when he's not streaming. That's an I like coffee. And Ethan say, if I had taken jewels, except to say, Royal said, Paul, you can beat our Anthony and eat Mr. Man. Um, Ian, I, if he's here, you know, I mean, I'll show you a comment when he, when he comes on. He normally does like, um, I love Peter Pitts, by the way. He's a great, passionate Newcastle yeah. United fan. And I, I think he's great. I love the shows on the Friday night. It's so funny. I said it before anyone selling their tickets above face value should lose their season ticket or membership. Rawley, do you agree with that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, you shouldn't be selling tickets for above face value. Mm. End of. Yeah, like for example, when I went to well, obviously people people selling tickets. One time I went to Silverstone to see the British Grand Prix, and my ticket was like five hundred quid. And I heard some people selling their tickets for like ten grand for Silverstone because the tickets for Silverstone. Are so hard to get, even for Formula One. The tickets are impossible to get now. Yeah, absolutely. Tom's cost seventy-two quid. Obviously, nine hundred and fifty. And um, mad that Tommy boy um paid around seventy-five quid for mine. Don't know about the young ones. Couldn't care less. We are going less battlers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, Steve. Oh, the Premier League we go. Thank you, Lewis. Um, corporate box two k twelve six. A guy paid for a box and offer ten six at six hundred quid each. <sighs> Mason, what do you take on that one, mate? But off the top, to be honest, um, I mean, there's just no need to put corporate. Um, it's like that. Yes, I know it's like a like a major final, like a domestic final for the country, but I mean, I don't know how much like. You say like a top six team in the Prem, how much they cost? Like put their corporate um, uh, prices up. But I mean, there's just no need for a one-off game. Yes, I don't know if they do that for Eng for like when England play, but I mean, there's no need. Go on, Rolly. 
think the corporate prices are pretty much the similar for England. A lot more. I hear, I hear sometimes it's going to be a bit more more expensive for England games. Yeah, I Good think before. I hear one time it was like two thousand five hundred pound for a box for an England game. <coughs> hmm. Wow, typical. 97% went to see Stick of Hordas, Sass and Steve. I don't believe that for a second. They let tell us all I want to hear. Um, I started the season, I bet it does finish something in 10th place. I'm a good cup run. We're third, fourth now. And, and I'm in the cup, in the cup final in a good place. Just annoyed our families have to be Man United. That's when I like coffee. We didn't have this problem in 74 6. I went above absolutely no pumps at all whatsoever. Newcastle should have got 40,000 tickets for Wembley. Alan, I have to agree with you. The fan base is just. I mean, it's, it's just so huge. 30 feet ain't enough. I was camping for tickets and the good old dears. Good on you, Sefton. How times has changed now? Um, will be will will there be a fan sort of screen inside and changes apart from the finals? And if I'm a betting guy, I don't think it will be. I, have, but, I definitely have to go now because something's happening. <laughs> go for it, Lewis. Coming, Thanks for coming I, in, mate. I, will you be okay. doing this next week as well? Yes, you're definitely I'm gonna do. I think we do the fans form show next Wednesday. That's the show. It's coming back. Fan form is on a Wednesday. So oh, I, 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 week, I try and come on next week as well. It's been a long yeah, time, so. John, isn't it? I'll see you later. Cheers, you everybody. Too, Take care. Just awesome. saying there, yeah, John's been a long time with the fan forms, eh? I know. I know it's been a while, hasn't it? Sort of, I typed on the wrong for the name, but hey-ho. But uh, I've done it now, but um, I'll get it right next week. Um, there will be fans. Will there be fans? I don't think there will be, mate. They should be expanding Wembley, especially now they're in corporate safe standing. Really, I could not disagree with you, mate. Get it back to 100k. I collect tokens from the programme. That's the Leslie. Yes, that was the, those were the days, man. Those were the days. Eddie House back on the army. Big up, Eddie. The club told everyone from day number one that tickets cannot be sold. So selling tickets, let alone, should get you banned, regardless of whether you are selling them overpriced or not. If it's face value, I've got no problems. Like, if I can't go to the games, I sell it face value. Always do. It's as simple as that. 1-0 one nil, one nil Man City. 1-0 one Man City. Man City's mm-hmm. just scored. Just, so. just going back to the... The number of tickets that, um, yeah, oh my good god, what's the keeper doing? So, <laughs> it's, got, it's a terrible, uh, just uh, reading something, um, about the ticket allocation. Uh, and apparently, it's EFL rules that a number of tickets must be made available to members of each club, so they couldn't just give it to season ticket holders. It didn't say how many, um, no, it said, said that. Just over 4,000 tickets uh, were given to club members, corporate customers, staff and players, which left about just uh, 28,600 for season ticket holders. So that, that, that does actually sound plausible. Hmm. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure of the so- I'm not 100 percent sure of the source, but um, it, it, if the EFL say you've got to give so many to members that's why members have got tickets over season ticket holders and that's probably why there's that the ballot system towards the end of the season tickets because they knew they could only give so many away mm. do you know so, what it is though really? you know what it is right really? I'm, I'm not gonna lie but um i can see season ticket holders right next season i'm gonna buy tickets right and i've heard it's not my word i've heard that it's gonna make it so impossible for members to purchase tickets as well but yeah, but the, thing, the thing about it is that if, if they've got to give so many tickets to members, it's not going to make... If season ticket holders buy up tickets um, next season, there's only going to be... There's a limit to how many they can buy if they have to have tickets on sale to members. Hmm. So, um, yeah, I, I, I need to check up the source on that, but yeah. that's what, what they're saying, which is why... Um, it, it kind of makes sense now why, why people without season tickets have got them over season ticket holders. Yeah. But, well, um, it's it's still be interesting. Right, but the problem is we weren't given enough tickets. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's good. I'll tell you, it's a mess. It's an absolute mess, but we'll find out next season. Um, 10K, as much as I'd love to go to Wembley, I wouldn't pay it out. Jules, if I was you, I'd save your money, pet. Save your money. 10K. Unbelievable. Can't wait, man. Love Peter. That's um 
De Bruyne opened scoring, by the way, 1-0 to Man City. Club only gets you into all the cup matches. So when we, then you got to pay a four or five bigger sum to be a member for a year. That's the thing. Where's Tony John? He'll be coming back soon. I think he's taking a break. And um, he's uh, taking a break, so he will be back soon. Rest assured. Um, yeah, episode one out. I heard Exeter City got tickets to sell for the cup finals. Um, Annie? Uh, every, you heard that? Everyone does. Yeah, everyone. Everyone F- in the EFL does. Because it's a, the EFL Cup. Um, it's not... It's not huge, and plus, it's not for the fans. It's just um, the hierarchy and that particular yeah. club. Uh, so, Brexit, for example, it would be the owner, uh, would be manager Steve Caldwell. Um, mm. uh, for us, it'd be our owners. So, yeah, it would. Um, it wouldn't be the fans, no. It'd be interesting uh, for the club as well. But um, I heard Exeter, yeah, I've read that. And um, if Gary Gary D as well, if Newcastle control tickets, then how many how many how ticket touts? <clears throat> If Nick has control tickets, then how ticket touts? I tell you what, they should be banned. If they sell over the price, they should be banned, in my opinion. Do you know what I mean? I'm sure people, I'm sure Exeter got about 12 tickets to sell for the final. Yeah. But yeah, I think yeah, you've got to you be, you be Exeter fans. That's the thing. You have to be an Exeter City yeah, fan. You, you, you have to be part of the Exeter hierarchy because it wouldn't be fair yeah. if Exeter got exactly. their tickets and then gave it to their fans. That would be ridiculous. Um, yeah. So some clubs have decided, well, we're not, we're not really particularly bothered. So we're just yeah. going to give it to Newcastle and the 6-6. Six, six. Um, yeah. Newcastle, Man United and whatnot. Mm-hmm. You yeah, absolutely. Just going through his comments as well. We knew we were wrapping out of time soon. Do you think Maxi should be dropped oh. for Liverpool game? I reckon Jordi has been great since coming to work and a lot harder than Maxi gone in the summer for me. I don't think he'll be dropped. I think he'll be starting on Saturday, in my opinion. And I don't think he'll be gone in the summer either. Oh, you're, not, you're not going in the summer. No, no he's not going in the summer. No um, Absolutely no way. No way. Yeah. Uh, uh, he might not go uh, next summer either, depending on his development. But uh, as I've been banging on for ages, there are players we need to get rid of before we get rid of Maxi, unless someone comes in with a stupid offer for him. Because you're going to have to replace him. Because if you don't replace him, you're starting Jacob Murphy. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. I'd choose ASM over Murphy all day long. Is, the, is it the same for away games? Trying to get tickets to the West Ham Newcastle game that goes cancelled when the Queen pass away. I mean, you're going to give us 3,000 tickets for that game. And I bet you that's going to be 100 plus points for that game. So keep out for that, Julie. Because I've not had an away ticket as well. Is it possible for me to get an away ticket? Impossible. Um, clubs just stick their tickets out on the first come basis. Once they've gone, they've gone. That's a good shout. <sighs> That's a good shout, but I can't see it. Yeah, I think you need to prioritise season ticket holders. Um, Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, then maybe for the season ticket holders, first come, first serve. But uh, I think you need to prioritise the season ticket holders. Yeah. Um, that works. Yeah. That works. Um, we go through goals. Does Mr. City get tickets as well, Addy? I think he does. Yeah, we'll get about. Yeah, we'll get about 10 tickets. We, we, they, they don't sell it to us, no. no chance. Um, they'll keep it with the board um, and give it to Pearson and the yeah. owners, Lansdales and CEO and whatnot. They'll enjoy it. They are, of course they will. Well, if they've got a spare ticket, let us know. Lift down the road. I'll get one off their knee. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> first time they wait. Did, you, did that say first time they watch proper football years? Um, yeah. Yeah, we've been Man United. Um Couple of seasons ago, a few seasons ago. Um, nice. Yeah, you, you couldn't quite, you couldn't quite do that, could you? So, yeah. Brilliant, brilliant. Extra sold their tickets for ninety quid. It was on their website, but you got to be like Andy said. You got to be with Association of Extra City. I start going over ASM on Saturday, especially with the cup final next weekend. That's a fair. That's challenge. the reason. That's the reason you don't. Um, you don't sell it. Uh, you, no, that's the reason you don't start Gordon because of the cup final. Because Gordon's cup tied. <laughs> you want to give ASM a chance to to get his form back. He played. He's one of the better players uh, against uh, Bournemouth, mm-hmm. and uh, he had a, uh, he set up the goal. Um, right, he didn't get the assist because that will go to Longstaff. But he stopped the ball going out of play. Played the ball into Longstaff before the keeper made a good save. And then, um, obviously, Miggy was there to fight up. But, um, I mean, ASM is one of these players that you either love him or you hate him. But 
I think is going to get a run of games. Uh, it, uh, depending on who's available for the cup final. If Willock's injured um, and misses the cup final, um, ASM will start. Yeah. So you play him, if he's fit, you play him on Saturday um, so he can give uh, <laughs> Trent Alexander-Arnold nightmares for the next <laughs> for the rest <laughs> of the season. Absolutely. Um, uh, and um, yeah, but um, yeah, you, you, they might start Gordon, but it won't be at the extent for uh, uh, at the expense of ASM. It all depends who's fit. You might decide they want to give Miggy a rest for a game and start him on the right. Cool, well be cool, well be. There's options up front as well for Eddie, yeah. and I would do badly miss Bruno, by the way. Um, yeah. Gary D, hope you are Gary D. How do ticket house get so many tickets? Sorry, John, that's absolutely fine. I pissed before I finish the message, mate. That's absolutely fine. But this is the thing, right? You get all these people buying tickets to other clubs, right? And then you try and sell on the black market. I tell you, like I said, this should be banned for life. Everyone's got tickets for the West Ham game when the Queen died, still have tickets for the rearranged match, and they're still valid. So there you go. Wembley has got to change the rules. The tickets disgrace. Gary, I don't know, but I think it's via corporate and other clubs' allocation. People have heard of players selling the touts. That is absolutely um, oh, beats me, man. If Aizen had to go, I hope he's into another Premier League club. As to Julie, I have to say the same. I have to agree with no, him. I, I don't think he's not going in the near future. Uh, unless someone comes in with a sort of like £80 million pound bid for him, he's, I don't think he's going anywhere. He doesn't particularly want to go and the club don't particularly want to sell him. Exactly. I totally agree. Richard's not happy with ASM. He's been, he says he's been shot by Eddie's left, but I'm sorry. But, oh, man, I still I definitely wouldn't sell him. And no dupes or capitals. Thank you, Jules. Hope you're okay, Jay. And um, I hope I'm mean, having a fantastic day. I wonder if the Colts will be doing something on Saturday with this being Sir Bobby's birthday. I hope they do, because we do miss him big time. He's 90 years old as well, man. And um, he's a big, big miss, isn't he, Mason? Big miss. He is. Um, luckily enough, um, like, it, luckily enough, I am um, my great, great granddad played, played for him at um, Fulham. And um, obviously, he's... Respected by the majority of the North East. Not just all, not just the North East, but all over the world. Managers at, like obviously Mourinho, Pep, have worked on doing I don't know what if Pep did, but I know Mourinho did, but I mean the guy was just lo loving to every single person. Hmm. And he and when he went on that when he went on that touchline he, he was just he wasn't like you. You say we're like Jurgen Klopp these days. He just stands there with the passion on his face. Yeah. For his love, for his love of the game, and for love of the, fo the love of the football, because that's what the kind of guy he was. And it's just a shame that. Um, oh, I thought, I didn't know he was. Um, I didn't. I I wasn't sure, but there we go. Um, but I mean. It's just a shame we don't have a manager mm. like this, like this. And if you get you, you'll get a few, but we need more managers to be like what Sir Bobby Robson was when he was managing. I mean, mm. we need more because that 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 guy was just a gent gentleman, gentleman. Absolutely, Mason. Absolutely, and you know what? There's not many people like Sir Bobby nowadays. You know what I mean? And the guy, not in a patch, some of them. I mean, Pep, he's a great guy. He played for Sir Bobby at Barca. Yes, he did. And um, he's, and he's a cracker match, as we all know as well. Right. Um, before we go, right, I mean, just to go around the table as well. And um, really, I mean, um, for me, going back on the tickets as well, right, quickly, right, can you see people not going at the last minute? And... Um, do you think, Matt, the ticket should go face value, yes or no? It's got to be face value, yes or no? got to be face value. Don't buy it unless it's face value. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, face value, yeah. Um, we should have got more tickets both sides, but we didn't. Um, we said no one's 
you can't please everyone in these tickets. It, it, it seems plausible that they had to keep some tickets back for members, which is why some season ticket holders didn't get uh, didn't get tickets. And then obviously we we we, we say they'll oh, get thirty two thousand or well, well thirty three thousand tickets, and you forget that the players get tickets as well, and they get multiple tickets and. Uh, Obviously, the corporate gets and that all comes out of the allocation. So, um, I mean, I, I've forgot about that, to be honest. Yeah. Um, so, though we got, got 32 and a half, 33,000 season ticket holders, there's a, a portion of that um, go, uh, distributed within the club to the corporate sponsors. And... Um, then uh, apparently the EFL said they've got to have so many tickets for members, so um, that that reduces the chances of season ticket holders getting. Uh, it's a, there's no. They possibly could have done it better, but they could have done it a hell of a lot worse. Yeah, well. I mean, I have to agree with everything you said there, Rory. Really. So you're absolutely right. Totally agree. Um, I'll go with you, um, Andy, as well. Yes or no? Should we should sort the of face value? Yes or no? And no more? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yes, 100%. Um, uh, if, if you're selling it for more than face value, you're uh, ripping people off, and that's, that's, that's not acceptable, uh, really. Um, yeah. Look, at the end of the day, they're, they're all supporters of football clubs who, who who want to see their team potentially win a trophy. So, look, it's if, if you, you're not going to sell it for face value, you might as well just keep the ticket and you know, go, go to yourself because it doesn't. There's absolutely no point selling it for more than more than face value, um, apart from financial gain yourself. Mm-hmm. Um, in this kind of situation, football kind of just uh, just takes a second uh, second priority it's kind of for, for a bit, uh, uh, purely because it's basically a financial thing. People are selling it for more than face value. But if you if if you see someone selling it for face value, what I'd say is um, they're probably a Newcastle fan who either can't go to the game or uh, has other commitments at that point um, and. Probably, probably wants to give the ticket away. So mm. if it's if it's someone who's it's selling it, face value, penalty. What's that? Um, um, really? Looks like Arsenal have got a penalty. Wow. Ooh, hello. Interesting. Uh, but as I was saying, um, yeah. if it's a if it's a fan selling it for face value, he's probably being legit. Is all I'm going to say. Yeah, uh, I think it's going to be if he's selling it for definitely like, higher than face value. Uh, it's probably not legit, but if it's if you're selling it face value, if they're selling it face value, I think they're probably willing to talk to you. Um, if you could probably be willing to talk to them, is all I'm going to say. Um, mostly don't listen to me because yeah, yeah, uh, that's fine. Yeah, but it's, that's that's all I'd say really. Because okay. if it was a scammer, he uh, they'd definitely be trying to you know get they're trying to trying to get uh, more money out of you, but. If not, you know, I think it's worth it's worth talking to. Go on, Rowley, what's up? No, I was thinking that people uh, uh, claiming that we have shit housery. Um, the ref gave the penalty about two minutes ago. You know, the man, the whole Man City team, pretty much surrounding him. When, uh, when he eventually got the, pe- the them to go away, they're standing round the uh, Odegaard who had the ball for Arsenal, so no one could put the ball down and take it. Oh, shit is of the highest order. Saka's about to take it. Come out on the middle. Go for the comments. Close every day, number um, one. Hard to be sword or pass or friends or family. If you can't go, you shouldn't have caught a ticket in the first place. Absolutely. Also, Marina was so one, one. one one. What a pen. What a pen. What a yes, pen. Yes. I check it, I check it out later. We'll, we'll go for this console wrap up. Oh, and uh, just some for me. So also we know so Bob's number two is sporting. Also wants to manage the tune. At the minute it's at Roma and he loves the club as well. And um, thank you, Alan. Thank you, Sefton. Um Call them not, not what it used to be, except for Aston Julie. And I think it's too late for a special one. Julie's 60. And, um, but what well, I Stephen. We have a special one, Eddie Howe. 
I only ever buy tickets for your club, family and friends. If they charge you over the face value, there's some serious problems. You know what it is, mate? You're absolutely right. Arsenal and scored. It's not for world problem. It's a problem as general concerns of other sporting events like boxing have the same issues. Something needs to change. Absolutely. And there's one teacher at the Emirates. And lastly, go to Mason. Tickets. Face value, yes or no? For me, um, yes. So I'll you know, put me on the Um Yeah, fine, yeah. I agree with the whole face value thing because it's not it's not great like if you're sitting behind a co- a laptop or a computer or a phone saying or oh, I've got tickets and I've got tickets for like for example when we're Newcastle and Liverpool um and then you turn up in the same meet, you meet I'll meet you at St James's Park before the game in the turn off in the in the, in the dawn turn off. I mean it's not great. It depends where the person's come from. For example, if it came like from like Manchester or London, um, because you get like sports and supporters who got fans in London, um, and they've travelled like they paid like money for trains to come up here, um, and they just turn up and they've gotten out. I mean, it's not great. I mean, and when you, and it's better just I and mean, it's better to. to for the person who's selling the tickets, just to let them know I'm I'm standing to see them now, and then the person walks up and they say, "That's the best way." It's it's not good s- sitting behind the phone telling you this that this that the, the other um uh, saying, "I've got tickets." I'll see the stadium and he doesn't turn up. I mean, it's yeah. not great. I could and I, I just agree on the whole face value thing because the person tells you. The person, person's there, they tell you this, that, and you want like detail, any other details for that, what that they want to say. And um, yeah, I'll be honest. Yeah, fair enough. Thanks for that, me guy. And um, the girl for the comments and talk for you. Go on, Ali. What I really don't like and completely can't condone is uh, people who are not Man United fans, not Newcastle fans. Um, and still get a ticket purely because of personal reasons, and get a ticket as in they get like in the in the fans area. That's just that's not on. like that is absolutely not. On. Uh, I've seen people uh, come to some of the come sit come to some uh, city games which are completely sold out, and they're not they're not they're not a Motherwell City fan. They're not a well they're not an away fan. They're just there because they're could because of uh, personal interest and that's that's not right that's someone there missing out who has a season ticket who has a membership who's paid money to watch Newcastle all season or uh, whatever club all season and then miss out purely because you have um, connections or you have priority above them purely because of what you do um, and I'm talking about like being a YouTuber and stuff and blogging and stuff for mm. example I'm not going to I, mean, I don't want to call him out for Thogden. Um, he, I remember he went to Newcastle Spurs last season, first game out of the takeover. Completely sold out that game. Like, totally sold out. Understandably, of course it was. He got a ticket ahead of some people who I knew. Um, and that was just not on. As in, you know, he's not there because he likes, he supports Newcastle or, or mm. Spurs. He's there because he wants to get views and get the clicks. And oh, that's just ridiculous, you know. It's ridiculous, isn't it? You're absolutely right. Absolutely. Go with your wrap up the show. I think tickets should have a picture of you on it, passport size. Do you know what? That's what's going to happen soon. It's going to come out soon, I'm telling you. I got through Ari, Labby, Aston Martin, and Lugati in my garden shed message. Message me if you want to buy them for 150 <laughs> quid. Can you believe that? And have my new sword. It's on at their side of Wembley. I would not be surprised. And have to go. Can everyone please hit the likes and subscribe anyway? Oot. As we always say, share the socials and support the great channel. Leslie, thanks so much indeed for coming on. We're back again tomorrow. I'm trying to get a Liverpool fan on for the preview show. And um, also as well, Bishop, typical. Absolutely typical. Bless him. Southampton fan says it all. Guys, so thanks so much for coming on anyway, right? Um, before we go out, please just shout out your socials, Rolly. 
Yeah, I'm on Twitter at poll67. Yep, and Mason. Um, find us on Facebook and um, tw- Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Thank you very much, Annie. Where do you find you, mate? Yeah, you can find me a Troubles Talk on um, YouTube. It's I I want to rename it the Nathan Jones Fans Club because uh, I love Nathan Jones. <laughs> the flash. Uh, that was that was sarcasm. Um, yeah, you can find me on there on YouTube. You can find me on Twitter at Annie Harris Five. Um, you can find me on Instagram as well. But yeah, mainly Twitter and YouTube. Fantastic, fantastic. And you can find us on the links in the, in the description as well. You can find us. You can find us on Twitch. Mm-hmm. You can find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and also on Facebook as well. If you like the video, like what you see, hit the like, subscribe. Also, if you'd like to super chat, click on the dollar sign. And if you'd like to come remember, that's just 99p. Thanks again for um, Ian, uh, Ian as well for the £20 donation. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much indeed again. Go for a few comments. Um, no, I don't. Thank you very much, Jules. And 100% about <laughs> Corgan. That's saying not what you know is who you now, and that's from Foxy. And he's totally right. We ask that. And on that note, we're going to wrap up the show. And um, we'll be back tomorrow for the preview show against Liverpool. And uh, I don't I uh, really backstage very quickly. And until then, have a good evening. And it is a goodbye. Feel pumpy.